What's up guys? Got a new little workstation here. Got a couple couple projects coming up. Uh, so, but today we're gonna be working on my uh, SX24 I've been pimping out. So I uh, got a couple new, new little things here to uh, add some things to it. So let's check them out. So to start, so here's the my SX, SCX I'll be working on today. Uh, I already have a good little amount of products on here. And today I will be adding carbon fiber chassis from DS Fabworks. Um, also their motor mount. I haven't been able to get the uh, upgraded motor in yet, but that'll be soon. And the kinetic double barrel shocks and springs. So get a little better travel, a little more control there. More travel than also like, like, I don't wanna raise it too high. But yeah, so I already have a good amount of the goodies on here. To, uh, could always add more things. So, do a little time lapse of it, and then uh, pretty soon you guys will be seeing my new build. Got more carbon fiber stuff there, and goodies and stuff. But let's get back to this uh, SCX24 build and uh, see how it looks after. So, uh, yeah, check out this little time lapse. Time lapse didn't work, my battery ended up dying, but let me do a little recap on what I did and a uh, little problems I ran. So, see here, it's sitting pretty nice. Um, I'm not perfectly level, I'm still a little high in the front. I need to get some really, really small bolts, or actually some really all small, small nuts, sorry, to mount the uh, shocks in the carbon chassis. Um, the rears, I use some little plastic pieces and stuff back there for now. Uh, so I get four nuts for that to mount correctly. Probably angle them a little more in the back. Uh, the front mount there is sort of there. It's uh, not fully bolted in. You have to sh ch cut, cut some little pieces in there and trim them. You see it like modified a little bit in there just to get them to go in. Uh, the shocks seem kind of cool. I don't, I don't know. They seem kind of a little bit janky. I don't know, but we'll see. And then even then, like, they're in the same holes and everything, but it's not the same amount of metal comes out of each of the things there when you go down. Oh, and then there it's back again. So, I don't know, to me that's kind of janky, uh, but it's a really small little piece, so it's kind of hard to make it exactly precise, and I guess for the price, but we'll see how it handles. And maybe when it's doing a little less, but moving around there, you know, it seems to move pretty good, but I think as it crawls, it's gonna get stuck a lot, and I'll probably be taking them off. Uh, the front, horrible. Like, it's this is stuck on something, I don't know, but it could just be the angle. Um, once I get the correct uh, nut for that, I'll probably put them back on more of an angle, but it mean, still should work. Like, right, look at that, it's really stiff there. Like, I don't know, but then this one, it all works good but that one doesn't. So, I don't know, it's the exact same parts, exact same things, but you know, just have it machined or, I don't know, but I, don't, I still don't, we'll see how much it actually has to move when it's going. So the actual climbing will be the true test, but we'll see. But so yeah, I'll, I'll get the level first, a little more level first, it's a little higher in the front right now. And then uh, test it out. But other than that, it's pretty sweet. The, uh, 
they're easy to put together. They just unscrew. You can use a, uh, a small Allen to uh, undo the bottom shaft. You don't have to use pliers or anything. We're about damaging the shafts. Uh, a uh, Allen goes, just goes in the top through here and you can unscrew it from the bottom eye and you're all good. So I mean, it's, that's pretty sweet. But I mean, it's looking a lot meaner now, more monster truck style. Um, but yeah, I don't, sometimes it's sitting there and you just push on it. it, doesn't necessarily mean how it's gonna work in the real life, so I'm excited to try it out, because I know I've seen other people have good success with it, but I'm going to try it out. Uh, stay tuned for that footage. Yeah.